the signal bridge, preparations are made to warn escorting destroyers that our planes are about to come in. And these flags spell out the message with almost typewriter speed. An art as old as the Navy. Essential when radio silence keeps the enemy guessing and the warbirds are returning to their huge nest. To retrieve its aircraft, the ship again must turn into the wind. And so that the planes, as they form into the landing circle, will know that the course is clear, the red flag comes down. Here a plane swings in from the circle, its pilot taking orders from the landing signal officer, an infinitely sensitive control. It is as if he reached up with his hands to retrieve the homing warbirds. How fast he brings them in is restricted information. But here again, our naval airmen hold world leadership. Pilots used to the expanses of a LaGuardia field would call this threading a needle or squatting on a dime. It's carrier commonplace. $100,000 worth of airplane could somersault on the deck or ricochet into the drink if there were a rod's miscalculation. on a shakedown cruise, an occasional error of judgment may creep in. And the landing signal officer gives the wave-off signal, sometimes adding an eloquent personal touch. Find your mother there, airmen. A steel ship fashioned for airplanes. A great target, but marvelously elusive. Yesterday she went down the ways a soulless mechanism. But now she has a heart, a personality, a crew, a proud human spirit. Take a look at a great young lady about to keep a date with history. This is an answer to December 7th. This is America.